But anyway, go out that side. Hey, honey, um, did you get the list from Miss Collier? Oh, yeah, I've already done it. Okay, great. Of course you have. Really? Girls, I hear it all day. Your sister was such a great student. Oh, Emma just loved this book. Thanks. Enough. So I have a showing at five. I'll be home around six-ish. Any dinner requests? Anything's good. Bye, Mom. Bye, sweetie. I love you. She's the perfect girl. And I'm the bad sister. No, you're not. Have a great day, honey. Bye. Breathe, Em. But you're probably going to talk about stuff we already know. I mean, the only reason I'm going is to get out of first period. We can be a little late. Not really. Oh, my dog, you're going to explode if you stay this tight. Speaking of tight. Hey, Emma. Hey, Emma. He freaking knows your name. I guess. Stephen Sullivan knows your name. Okay, can we go to class now, please? Okay, will you sleep with him, please? For me. <laughs> All right, listen up, everybody. The bus will be leaving at 7 a.m. sharp tomorrow, so be on time. Otherwise... Whoa. Sorry, Brown Point. Hey, you two, find what? a seat. Let's go. I expect it from Mr. McMullen, but I'd hope better from you, Emma. Sorry, Mr. Christensen. All right. So, tomorrow, the bus will be leaving at 7 a.m. sharp. All right, be on time, or the bus will be leaving without you. I'm only boy get on this trip. Daddy probably bought his way on. What? You know I can hear you, right? On time. For the first five days in Trinidad, we'll be helping to renovate a school with Project Humanity. The last three days, we'll be exploring the island and going on cultural excursions throughout the country, and it should be a lot of fun. So, headline, Stephen knows Emma's name. Say what? Yeah, I'll trade you for your burger. You can have it. You sure? Yeah, I just wanted the fries. Okay, wait, so Emma and Stephen... That. Yeah, we have one week on the island to work our weedy magic and get young Emma here laid at the quarterback. Do I have a say in this? No, not at all. We're there to be helping people? And I'm trying to help you. We have jobs to do, Lizzie. I have looked at the itinerary. You made the itinerary. <laughs> <laughs> the school has every day and night planned. So, we'll change the plans. I mean, that's life, right? Oh, and BT Dubs, I just found out that Carnival in Trinidad is when we're there. Oh my god, I totally have to get a new bathing suit. Really? What? I'm a scoping lonely boy. Oh, he was in my middle school. He used to be really nice. Yeah, he used to be. I heard he got kicked out of the last school he was in. No, I think he's kind of cute. And like a rebel without a cause, holding cocktails kind of way. Let me make it simple. Girls like our M don't hook up with freaks like what's his face, especially when she's got the quarterback on the hook. You can hand me that now. You can follow me to the principal's office. I'll then lead the way. You're all done. Looks like someone's not going on the trip. Well, folks, it looks like we're in for another cold. Wow. How long are you planning on staying? Uh, you can never be too prepared, Phil. Uh, Thank you guys so much for letting me go on this. No worries, sweetie. So what if I had to take a second mortgage out? Your mom may have to sell an extra mansion this month, but... Don't tell her that. Oh, I love our kids so much. <laughs> Man, if this is what you two are like for an eight-day trip, I don't want to know what it's going to be like to send her off to college. I know. So I'm thinking we're going to have to move to Princeton with you. <laughs> I support that idea. Right? Yep. <laughs> Wouldn't you love that? <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't want to go. What kind of strings I had to pull to get you back on this trip? For who, Dad? Me or you? Because I don't even want to go on this stupid trip. I'm just going to be forced to hang with a bunch of people I never talk to when I'm here anyway. It's an opportunity, son. It's a chance to do something for someone other than yourself. Can we go? We're going to be late. I'd be stuck here and you'd have to look at my face all week. Let's go, gang! All aboard! Emma, be careful. Lizzie, be safe, you girls. Love you. Let's get a move. Gang, be safe. We'll do, Father. How you doing, Emma? Crazy early, right? <laughs> That was two sentences. He's up in his game. You were just so getting mean. Okay, everybody listen up. Project starts tomorrow, which means we have a few hours today to get settled in and go hang by the pool if you want. Then we're all gonna go to dinner. Did I tell you, Em, screw your schedule?
Oh, this is going to be the best ever. Oh well, who's the lucky boy? Don't worry, Em, I'm not gonna steal your quarterback. All right, ladies, let's do this! One, <laughs> two... Freaking killed in a minute for all of us. You should get some lotion on your shoulders. And a burn. Day two and first contact has been made? Yes, please. It's gonna be easier than I thought. <laughs> Looks like mommy's getting some big action. <laughs> Game on, dudes. Skyping with the rentals. Get off now. Seriously, it's urgent. Honey, are you all right? Um, uh, yeah, um, sorry. Miss Collier is calling lights out. All right, all right. Go ahead. We love you. Have fun. Get a good night's sleep, babe. Love you guys. Bye. Bye, honey. Bye. Okay, so I'm downstairs buying frickin' toothpaste because I ran out. And can you believe they charge five dollars? Little... Okay, headline, carnival party tonight on some local dude's boat. I know, and Steven invited us and he singled you out, young Emma. They're leaving right now, but the boat leaves in a half hour. I don't know. Shut it. We're going. You are going. Even if I have to tie you up and drag you to the boat. Seriously, we'll be done by midnight. Two o'clock the latest. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Just great. What are you doing? I'm in enough trouble. I can't get busted. Are you crazy? You think we're gonna dodge the cops? We'll be fine. We'll go back to the hotel when things cool down, okay? On this, I want to get back on the boat. Suitcases by the door to be loaded into the awaiting cabs. And I'd especially like to thank those of you who brought this unique opportunity to an abrupt end. Welcome, gentlemen. Glad you could make it. Too bad you're on your way home. Um, Miss Collier, Emma's not here. What? Um, she never came home last night, and I didn't tell anyone because I thought, you know, she was with someone or something. But I really think. Hey, well, how do you know that she's not? You know her, Miss Collier. She wouldn't just bail. She has a schedule to keep. And I tried her cell, and she's not answering. All right, well, uh, where did you see her last? Um, <clears throat> on the boat. How far do you think we've drifted? I don't know. Let's keep an eye out. Can't be that far. We've been out here for hours. Is this part of your brilliant plan? I can't believe my phone got totally soaked. Yeah, I can't believe that either. Try your phone again. I, I told you, I'm not getting reception out here. Now some more water? Thanks. I can't believe you brought water to a party. I didn't want to get dehydrated. That's what gives you a hangover. Really? I thought it was a tequila. I still can't believe there's no motor. I mean, that's the point of the dinghy, right? For emergencies. Why else have the damn dinghy? <laughs> but how is that funny? Dinghy's funny. It's a funny word, dinghy. We're floating in the middle of the Caribbean. You know that, right? Yeah. I also know that freaking out isn't going to make us any less screwed, so... So what do we do? For now, we float, I guess. Oh. Want some gum? Why? Is my breath bad? Probably. Elizabeth Cover. Here. Samuel Leifer. Here. Dean McMullen. Dean? Dean McMullen. Anyone seen Dean? <laughs> you should try that. No, thanks. You want me to get your back? What's with all the Ziplocs? What? You carry all your crap in baggies? It keeps things from getting messy. How's that working out for you? Well, at least my phone is dry. We should have followed the police boat back to shore. What, with a single paddle? Sure. I'm just saying. Okay, first of all, I figured we'd be able to row back in later. And second of all, lest we forget, prom queen, you were the one who decided to take a moonlight dip in stormy I water. I fell off the boat. And my name is Emma. <laughs> okay, Emma. That's way too far. Just sit here until someone picks this up. Are you kidding? Fine, I'll paddle. Okay, okay. Paddle. Jeez. She never made it back to the hotel last night? No, and I thought that maybe she was... Was she drinking? What does that have to do with anything? Was she with Dean? What? No. But he was on the boat. Yeah, but 
She she didn't meet anyone and she wasn't hooking up with Dean. Miss Collier, tell them that she... Can anything be done to find them? More than likely, they'll find you. I mean, this type of thing isn't terribly uncommon. It's the youthful spirit of adventure. No, this is my best friend we're talking about. I know her. She has no youthful spirit of adventure. I think so. No coverage. We'll have to find a phone. Great. Wait up. Come to the right place, then. Let's just find a hotel. We're supposed to finish working on the school today. I'll bet everyone's probably all worried about us. You, maybe. I can promise you, nobody's worried about me. Yeah, this is Jack. Yeah. I'm sorry, what? Excuse me. Mrs. Robinson? Barbara. Jack. McMullen. I'm Dean's father. Nice to meet you. What were they doing on the boat in the first place? And who was watching them? You know, Mrs. Robinson. Don't condescend to me. Don't you dare condescend to me. I trusted you with our daughter. They can't find her. Well, it, it, it's okay. We'll find her. When is the next flight? There's a red eye tonight from Miami that makes connections in Trinidad. There's not an earlier flight? No, that's the earliest there is. I can help you with, with some arrangements. No, you've done enough. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go. We're back. My feet are killing me. I freaking hate hiking. You want to wear my chucks? It's okay. Thanks, though. Hey, look. Whoa, 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 stop. What? They're berries. White and yellow, kill a fellow, purple and blue, good for you. You're a little bit weird, you know that, right? Been called worse. We gotta keep going. Let's just find a hotel. What? We may never get back here again. Come on. Take a picture. We're already in enough trouble. You know they grade this trip. I cannot mess with my GPA. Hello? Do you know how unique this is? Okay. What's your number one school? Princeton. Why? You know how many people applying to Princeton have a 4.0? A lot. You know how many people have been swimming in this waterfall? Think of the essay you could write. 
Come on. We gotta find a hotel. So lame. Fine. See, this is why I don't hang out with people. I don't think we're gonna find five-star hotel around here. Do you know how to make a fire? I do. Ta-da! Perfect. What? A cave? I am not sleeping in a cave. It's the safest place to be, right? If it rains, only one way in. Protection from the elements. Hey, can I use your phone? Sure. There's no signal. I'm not a cave person. None of us are cave persons. We haven't been cave people for a long... I saw it in the book. I think it was the one with the girl who sails around the world with her cat. You're supposed to fire two flares, one to get their attention and the other so they can try and locate you. Who's they? The people that are gonna come get us, I guess. Our families and the police or whoever. Dean, what are you doing? What was that about? Hey, can I borrow some of that bug stuff? Sure. Thanks. You want a pillow? <laughs> Thanks. Wait a sec. What? Aha. Uh -huh. Damn, you should be on that Price is Right show. I knew it was in here. I put it in there in case I got hungry when we were building yesterday. Thanks. And I think you meant, let's make a deal. Hmm? 
Oh. All right. That show. <laughs> Here's some more. Thanks. Aren't you? No. You seem like you should be. Perfect girl, perfect world. I can't tell if you're being mean or nice. What do you think's out there? In the woods? We're gonna be fine. can't get a signal. Here. What are you doing? You're gonna waste the battery. Just playing some music. Here. Take my shirt. Thank you. Sure. What was that? they come back in. And when will they be back? When is that? Uh, I'm not sure. They said that they would let us know when they... Mm -hmm. Anyway, I was just telling Barbara that the police have uh, a boat searching the Caribbean right now. They did say that a dinghy was missing, so... Well, how long have they been looking? And what about a helicopter? Uh, they said as soon as the winds die down, they're going to send someone up. Have they been searching the land as well as the water? Have you contacted the embassy? Is there a private team we can hire because money's not an issue? I, I understand. No, the police are doing everything that they can with the limited resources that they have on the island. There is no private rescue team. But they did say they were very, very confident that they're going to find Dean and Emma. The first 48 hours is the most important. But the chief of police said that, you know, kids do this. Oh, God, if I hear one more time that this is what kids do, are you kidding me? It's been almost two days. What the hell are these people doing? Except offering anecdotal crap about other teenagers. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Help us find our children.
Now it's just gonna be something in case it rains, you know? Rain? You never know. Ow! Ow! Oh, you okay? <gasps> Come here. This may sting a little. Does that hurt? Here, keep the pressure on it. So, why Princeton? Hmm? Why do you want to go to Princeton? I don't know. It's Ivy League. It's just where we talked about me going. It's kind of weird, right? It's always been where I wanted to go, where I was supposed to go. I don't think I ever even questioned it. Mm. Yeah. They're not gonna give up. No, they'll come. For you. Thanks, guys. Better more than five minutes. I'm sorry. Uh, not yet, but we will. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna go back out tomorrow. Uh, sweetie, your, your mom and I are gonna need to stay a few more days, is that okay? Sure. Stay however long you need.
You know that every time you say that, it reminds me that I should be looking? I'm serious. You're the one who asked me to be here and stand guard. There's something out there. I can hear it at night. This afternoon, according to officials, the investigation has been downgraded from a search and rescue to a search and recovery effort as hope of finding the pair alive has faded. I want you to call me every day. You know, sometimes twice a day if you can, okay? I will. I promise. I hate the idea of leaving you alone down here. I'll be fine, honey. You've got to go back. Stacy needs one of us there. Especially now. No, I know. You're right. Well, it's official. I called off the rescue search. See what this is, Bob? They don't have the resources down here. That's what it is. I'm not going to stop, Phil. I promise I'll, I'll bring her back home. I know you will. Covering these waters. We still have two hours of flying time. I miss my mom and dad. I even miss my little sister. And my fish. I smell my sheets when I first get out of the dryer. I'll bet they're still looking for us. They'd have to be, right? You think they quit? Would you? I mean, keep looking for something. At some point, you figure it's gone, right? Why do you do this? Watch the sunset every day. Looking for something? What? Nothing. It's stupid. Zippo's dead. We're gonna have to learn to make our own fire now. Oh. What is it? He's not us, Em. He could have been some local fisherman or drug smuggler or anyone. You've got people out there who love you. People looking for you. And you know what else? We got each other. And that's something right there, Prom Queen. We're gonna be okay. You hear me? Nothing bad's gonna happen to you.
I pictured his home. Worrying about what everybody was going to say. It felt so normal. sex once. We're stuck on an island. We're not soulmates. That's mean. Yeah, I'm not a nice guy, Emma. Now you know. I don't believe that. Whatever it is, I'll, I'll, I'll listen. Please, just give me... Ah! Emma! I'm so sorry, Emma. I didn't mean to... It was an accident. I fell. I don't know what I'd do if something happened to you. What are we doing? We're not some happy couple on an island vacation. How are we gonna make it day after day? Just the two of us. What if something goes wrong? I mean, what if I broke my leg? Or one of us gets sick or something like that? Nobody knows what's out there, Em. There's stuff all the time that we don't know how to deal with, and we just gotta figure it out. I didn't go to my mom's funeral. That's why I wanted to bury that guy. Just flesh. Ashes to ashes. I thought maybe seeing, seeing him dead in the ground and all that would make things make sense. Did it? Not really. I guess that's the point. It doesn't always make sense. We need hydrotherapy. And you kind of stink, so... <laughs> Step into my office and tell me about your problems, Mr. Seeing, seeing all of it. You know, the casket and all the people pitying me, blaming me, or... Why would they blame you? Because I killed him. She was driving me over from soccer practice. We were driving down this side road, and it was dark. And we used to play this game when it was snowing, where, where she'd flick on the high beams on and off. And did it look like we were going into hyperspace from like a Star Wars movie or something like that? I reached over, trying to be funny, trying to be like her. Lost control of the car. We were laughing, and the next thing... I was in the hospital for three days. When I got out, she was gone. You didn't kill her.
you know? You should maybe think about moving here. Nice neighborhood. And I hear the public schools are great. Nearly a month after two students here at Walt Whitman High School went missing off the coast of Trinidad, the search for Emily Robinson and Dean McMullen now has officially been called off. It's believed that the students have been lost at sea. The news is I can't hard. believe they're going to stop looking for her, even if it's just for her body or something. Wow, Helen, that's kind of morbid. Your mom's still there. Maybe she'll find her. I know that we've been over this, but if you would just look at the new information regarding the, the weather patterns the night of the party, you would see that we've been looking in the wrong place. This is Robinson. I've seen this information. Perhaps your embassy can... I've been to the embassy twice. I've never seen it. 
It's supposed to be right on the horizon line. Just as the sun comes down. I'm thinking maybe it's just a thing people believe in to make them feel like there's something out there, you know? Beauty or whatever. How long do you really think we can survive here? We're gonna be fine, okay? Sinking through the drain of love Left my eyes to skies of up above I've been moving cause my heart is true Telling everyone I know about you Tell your mama that you won't be home Let your daddy know you're not alone Should we feel guilty? For what? Not being sad all the time. They probably think we're dead. But we're not dead. So we gotta live a little, right? I just feel like we should be doing something. Like trying to find a way off or... We tried. We'll keep trying. You've been shaving? What? You have, like, almost no beard. <laughs> okay. First of all, bite me. <laughs> and second of all, it'll get heavier. I hope. <laughs> Was that okay? I mean, was I okay? Emma, you are so much better than okay. Okay? If okay is around here somewhere, you are way over the damn part of the truth. If okay is like a little tiny grain of sand, you're the whole beach. If okay is like a little drop of water, you're like the whole freaking Caribbean. You wanna go on? I never liked this at school. Like what? I don't know. Fun. You're different too. Not enough. Yeah, you kind of are. How so? No pasta, no books. I used to watch you sometimes. That's not creepy. <laughs> You always seem like you had a plan. Like you had something to do or somewhere to go. I guess now you got nowhere to go, huh? I can't believe I'm saying this, but I kind of like where I am. And for the record, I watch you sometimes too. It was your first time. Oh, we're playing that game. Yeah, we are. Who? I was a sophomore, and she was a junior. Do I know her? No. 
she was in college. I don't know. I thought she could teach me some stuff. Was it fun? All five minutes were a blast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who was your first? <laughs> no, 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 no. I told you mine, now you have to tell me yours. Football player, band geek, teacher, is that? What? You. Me? I was your... Wow. Wow. Is that a bad wow? No. Just a wow. Wow. Was it okay? I got sand in some weird places. <laughs> I'm glad it was me. Me too. So, since this is all pretty new to me, maybe we should practice more. Yeah. things one day. Oh, what? Really? Organizing? That's what happened. I organized too much. Hang on. Emma. Emma. Get off me. What are you doing? I'm leaving. I can't. I can't do this. I cannot stay on this island anymore.
I've seen one plane since we've been here. I'm never going to see my family again. We'll be better off in there. Long term. What's long term, Dean? Look, man, at some point we're going to have to say this is it. This is our life, you know? It's you and me. You hear that? It's nothing, it's just the wind. I'm gonna find whatever it is and make it stop. Dean, no.
see that? You saw it. You saw it. You saw it. You saw it. We saw it. Oh my god, we saw it. I think it was the fish. It smelled a little weird. You think maybe you're pregnant? No, I'm not. It's, it's not that I don't want kids, it's just, you know. I know. Yeah. You want kids? Someday. Me too. I'd give anything for some toothpaste right now. And some chicken soup. And a sad movie. Come here. Lie down. I'll make you feel better. <sighs> Do you ever think about what everybody else is doing? Who's everybody else? Friends, family. People out in the world. We're everybody else now, prom queen. Ow, what? What, what was that? What the? Everybody. Whoa, 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 stop, stop. Okay, put, put it down, put the gun down and step away from the vehicle. Come on, monkey, drop the gun. No, 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 stop, 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 put it down. Come on, little guy, I'll, I'll trade you a banana for the gun. Didn't even take his banana. You know what? What the hell? What did you do that for? I don't want to hope anymore. You're acting like a crazy person. Why did you fire oh, the... Oh, I'm a crazy person? No, see, crazy is thinking that we can survive for more than a year on this stupid island. That's crazy. We're gonna make a life here, Em. It's gonna be better, I promise. No noise. I mean, what's so good out there anyway, right? Life, Dean! Life is what's so good out there. Our families are everything. <laughs> So you're crazy if you think for one second that I would actually choose to live like this. This is not living. This is surviving. Any luck? No. I never said thank you. For what? For saving me. For being there, here. Emma.
wanted to check on you, first night back and all? I was just looking at Facebook and stuff. Weird being back, huh? Yeah. They said we don't have to go back to school right away. Yeah, I know. I think I'm gonna go next week, though. Get back into it. Of course you are. What does that mean? Nothing, just... I guess summer's over, huh? You're talking in code. My dad told me about your party. Mom's throwing it. A homecoming thing. Are you gonna come? Us kids from school will be there. It'll be fun. Yeah, fun. You should probably go. My mom and dad have been checking on me like every 10 minutes. Sure. Come to the party, okay? Uh, first of all, thank you guys so much for coming. It's a special day for us. Um, I can't imagine the courage it took to survive those days. I really can't. But I'm so grateful that you did. To my girl and the dean. Where's Where's Dean? Behind you. I cannot thank you enough. You kids really are an inspiration to us all. I mean that. To Emma and to Dean. To Emma and to Dean. Hey. How come you're not over there with everybody else? I'm not really an everybody else kind of guy. Emma is. Always has been. She's really good at that. People really like her. Yeah, I can see that. It took her like two seconds to become even more popular than before you guys went away. Yeah, I can see that too. After more than a hundred days stranded on a desert island, two high school juniors, Emily this Robinson is love and Lee McMullen, now. have now safely returned to crazy love family now. to their friends for their lives that they thought they might never see again. I could not give enough. Feed them? Okay. What's with the dresses? 
I don't know. It's all feeling like... It's all feeling like someone else. You know, when you were gone, Mom knew I was there for once. I didn't have to yell or get in trouble or anything. At school, all the teachers were nice to me. Even if it was just for pity, I didn't care. And now, you're the girl who survived on the island. You're going to prom with the effing quarterback, for crap's sake. And I'm back to just being me. Stacy, you're amazing. And cool. And funny. And all of these things that I can never be. And just so you know, I'm not going to prom with Steven. Really? Well, who are you gonna go with? Nobody. You wanna be my date? <laughs> I missed you, Emma. I missed you too. I missed you so much. I saw it, Mom. I saw the green flash. It was beautiful. And... And I just wanted to say I'm sorry for not being there at your funeral. my tux Emma, you look amazing Steven's gotta be going crazy <laughs> he's gonna dress anyway in some even hot kind of way <laughs> Come on, walk with me. You know, I knew this was always in you. Just took being stuck in the middle of the ocean to find it, but... Let's get you a pretty boy. Oh. My. Dog. Damn. He looks good. Go. Be romantic. Say. I mean, I, I didn't even know if I'd get in. Times are overrated. Let's say, take the world tonight. Oh, I here. I got Everything's alright. I can feel it in my bones if you want. Thank you. Wanna dance, prom queen? I'm not the prom queen. I never was. I wanted to be. I'm just a girl. Dance girl? 
It's kind of boring. <laughs> I've been through worse. Yeah. 